Hey guys, another week, another game devlog, and this week has definitely been an awfully strange one. Um, first of all, on Rotate, I did not get done nearly as much as I wanted to, um, for a couple of different reasons. Well, first of all, the things that I did get done, well, I worked a little on coming up with a new level, although not very much at all. And I did a little bit of work on the story, but again, not much. I also did a little bit of concept art work for the ending of the game, uh, continuing what I had done. But other than that, I haven't really done anything on it. And as I said, that's for a couple different reasons. One being that I actually was, and I'm still kind of mostly over, but I actually got sick again. But I think this time it was more of just a short cold as opposed to previous two times, which I think was more of a flu, considering the fact that it took so long to get over it. Um, this time it was just really short and I'm pretty much over it now. If anything, it's mostly just affecting my voice for the most part. So anyway, that took up a little bit from like half the week, but around all this, I did get a little bit of work done on some other stuff. Uh, I did work a decent amount on some stuff relating to everybody edits. I've been helping with a new update which will do a couple different things, but what I've been mostly working on this week has been some stuff with font and text rendering, trying to fix some problems there, inconsistencies in the fonts. Uh, we're also trying to make some of the characters more distinguishable so that you, for example, can't confuse people by using an S instead of a 5 or vice versa and different names and stuff like that. Just trying to make things much more easily distinguishable so when you see a character in the font you know exactly what it is. <clears throat> so there's like two different pixel fonts in the game and we've tweaked very little on one of them and then a little bit more on the other. But still, they're not significant changes, they're just making things more consistent and uh, more distinguishable. So anyway, I've also done a little bit of other stuff in Everybody Edits, trying to help out a couple people with some issues uh, running the game and uh, trying to fix a couple bugs but not a whole lot going on there. Um, I have also, probably the most significant thing I've been doing actually this week has been to do with experiments with potential world renderer systems for the reboot. So obviously it's going to be an HTML5 game, but then there's the question, okay, is it going to be Canvas, 2D rendering, or is it going to be WebGL, or both with some sort of fallback. That actually seems the most likely, although I haven't finished the WebGL test just yet. Uh, but so far, yeah, it does seem pretty likely. It's going to default to WebGL, but fall back to Canvas Studio rendering. So I think that's basically it on what I did in Everybody Edits. Uh, some other stuff I ended up doing this week was I was doing a lot of thought about my game engine. Um, I've been referring to it as the Frost Engine, and I've definitely been doing a lot of thinking about what I want to do with the engine itself, what I want it to be able to do, I would like the ability to use it both for canvas-based rendering and WebGL rendering. Uh, and I think the idea of what I'd like to implement will be a system so that I can have the functionality of either renderer be kind of independent of each other so that I can implement more advanced things that are easier to implement in the canvas render, like masking and such of sprites. It's something that's really easy to do with canvas 2D rendering, but I don't have to implement it into WebGL, at least not at first, uh, if I don't want to. So I want to be able to code it in a way that it's maybe modular in some way, but I don't know. I'll look into ways of actually going about that soon enough. I'm also, of course, thinking about the way that I would like for other people to be able to use the tool and just different possibilities for uh, community bases for it. I'd like to build a site around the engine, and I'll talk about that a bit more next week. That's kind of when I'm going to be doing some of the setup for that, I think. And I don't know, there's a lot of possibility for it to grow over time. I'm not going to force it. For all I know, this thing could just be an experiment, and then I find something better to use, and that's it. But I think it's worth pursuing at least. So other than that, uh, I know that in the last video I mentioned the possibility of doing my branding change this week. That obviously did not happen, though there's a possibility it'll be next week. It's not like it really matters 
uh, too much, although I would optimally like to have it done well before releasing Rotate. And of course, speaking of that, when will it be released? Well, at this point, I'm not sure. I don't think it's reasonable to think that it could be released by the end of this month, honestly. It's probably going to be the beginning of April. And really, it doesn't really matter all that much. Of course, I would have liked to be able to say, as I said in the last video, that, well, the game released in the first quarter of the year it doesn't really matter that much. Maybe it's a good thing that it's being released next month, for all I know. Maybe that's how it's meant to be. We'll see. All I know is I don't want to rush this last bit of development of the game. I want to make sure that I have enough time to put the level of finesse and polish into the game that I feel like it needs. Uh, I've put all this work into everything so far. I don't want to lose the level of quality at this point in the game. So, at this stage, I'm not really going to set a deadline. Maybe that's a mistake I've been making in the past. I will pretty much say that, of course, it's going to be in April. It's inevitable. The game is so close to being done, it better be in April. <laughs> but I'm not going to say, like, I'll have it ready for sponsorship to start, like, next Monday or something. I mean, sure, that would that'd be great, and I'm probably going to shoot for that, but it doesn't matter. At this stage, I don't really care too much. I just want it to be done, but I don't want it to be rushed. So I'm going to take my time with it, but of, of course not take too much time. So anyway, yeah, I think that is going to be it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe learned something, be sure to leave a like, maybe a comment, and definitely subscribe for more content from me in the near future. So yeah, I'll see you around. Goodbye.